my name is Amber. I'll be doing your physical assessment today, which means I'm just going to start from head to toe and assess you. Can you tell me your name? I'm Leslie Gomelina. Leslie, nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Can you tell me today's date? It is September 4th, 2012. And where are we at? We are at uh, Madisonville Community College. So patients alert and oriented times three. We're going to start by walking over here to the Snellen chart. So I'm just have you stand. Posture is comfortably erect. Gait is steady and balanced. Just stand there 20 feet and read the smallest font possible that's comfortable for you to read covering one eye. P-E-Z, O-L-C-F-T-D. Okay. Okay, so patient has 20, 20 vision in the left eye and I would test that bilaterally. Cranial nerve two is intact. All right, so if I can just have you uh, walk to this end of the room. All right, and now walk heel toe back to the bed. Now on your tiptoes and on your heels. So gait is steady and balanced. Okay, so now we're just gonna do some range of motion exercises and I'm gonna grade your muscle strength at the same time. So we're gonna start with your neck. So I just need you to point your chin to your chest and back to the side, to the other side, and then rotate your neck. Okay, and I'll just have you turn your neck again this way and then push against my hand. And the other way, okay, muscle grade five, four inch motion in the neck. Now we're gonna move down to your arms. So I just need you to raise your arms, go in a full circle and back. Okay, and then put your arms behind your head. Okay, and then can you rotate your wrist? Okay, so we have full range of motion of the shoulders, the elbows, and the wrists. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grade your muscle strength in one of your arms, so just flex for me. And I'm gonna apply some opposing force. Hands. Muscle grade five in the arms. Okay, now we're going to move down to um, fine motor. So just do your touch your fingers to your thumb in reverse order. Okay, now flip your wrist back and forth. So fine motor is intact. Now we're going to move down to the spine. So I just need you to tilt forward and back to the side, to the other side, and then rotate both ways. Okay, now I'm going to have you bend forward again. I'm going to go ahead and check your spine. Have any tenderness? No. Okay, so spine is midline with no tenderness. You can go ahead and stand up. Okay, now we're going to move down to your legs. So just bring one leg up and rotate it out. Okay, point your toe, flex your heel back, full circle. So a full range of motion of the hip, the knee, and then can you rotate your ankle in a circle for me? Okay, in the ankle. Um, so now I'm going to grade your muscles in your leg. So just raise your knee for me. I'm going to push down. Okay. And then, okay. Muscle grade five in the legs. I would test that bilaterally. All right. So now I'm going to do the last thing I'm going to do for how you sit down is the Romberg test. It's a test of balance. So I just need you to stand there with your eyes closed for 20 seconds. I'm going to hold my arms out to the side to check for swaying. Okay. So negative Romberg for 20 seconds. You can go ahead and have a seat. Okay, so I'm just going to start head to toe now, starting with your skin. Your skin is pink, um, moist, and uh, warm. Now I'm going to move to your head. I'm just going to feel for a second. So your head is normal cephalic. No masses or lesions are present. Hair is evenly distributed. You have good control of your head. Okay. So now I'm going to palpate your uh, temporal artery. plus. I'm going to um, feel for your temporomandibular joint, so just open your jaw for me. Okay, no TMJ present, no um, popping of the joint, and can you clench your jaw for me? Okay, cranial nerve 5 is intact. Now I'm going to palpate your um, sinuses. This is your maxillary. Tell me if you have any tenderness. And your frontal. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to move down I'm going to check for bilateral equal movement of your facial expressions when you change your facial expressions. So can you smile and frown and put back your cheeks? Okay, so cranial nerve 7 is intact. Now I'm going to move to your eyes. Your eyes, your um, external structures are intact. Eyebrow, eyebrows and eyelashes are present. No um, lesions or drainage noted. I'm going to inspect your conjunctiva. Conjunctiva is pink and moist. Your sclera is white. Now I'm going to go ahead and grade your pupils. So your pupils are round, regular, and three millimeters bilaterally. Okay, now we're going to do um, 
constrict consensual response to light, which means that while one pupil constricts to light, the other should also at the same time. So direct and consensual. Pupil number three is intact. Now I'm going to test for accommodation, which means when you look at something at the distance, your pupil should dilate. When you focus on something up close, they should constrict. So if you can, just focus on uh, the Snellen chart for a second for me. Okay, now look at my pen line. Okay, crayon on earth three is intact. Now we're gonna do the six cardinal gazes of vision. I just need you to follow my pen light with your eyes only. And this just tests for your extraocular eye movement. Crayon on earth three, four, and six are intact. Now we're gonna do the cover test. So I just need you to cover one eye with an opaque card and focus on my nose. Okay, so you have a steady fixed gaze in your uncovered eye. You can go ahead and remove, okay, and you have a steady fixed gaze in your other eye. If you, if your eye jumped back to fixate, then you would have eye weakness, which you don't. Um, now we're going to test the red reflex. It's the last thing we'll do um, in the eye.
two plus. And I would grow that bilaterally one at a time. Now I'm going to go behind you and um, palpate your thyroid and your trachea. You see your trachea is midline. I'm going to displace your thyroid and have you swallow. Okay, so thyroid non palpable. Okay, so now I'm going to fill for your lymph nodes. This is pre auricular, post auricular, occipital, jugulodigastric, submandibular, submental. Superficial cervical, posterior cervical, deep cervical chain, supraclavicular, supraclavicular, and palpate your epitrochlear nodes. I would check those all bilaterally, and I'm going to check your inguinal nodes whenever I have you laid down here in a second. Okay, so now I'm going to move down to your chest. Your chest appears to be symmetrical. I don't see any masses or lesions. Uh, now I'm going to check for symmetrical expansion of your thoracic cage when you breathe. Just take a breath for me. I'm just going to go over here posteriorly. Okay, so uh, thoracic cage is symmetrical upon breathing. Um, now I'm going to listen for your breath sounds. Have you turned this way a little bit? Sign. 
Now I'm going to check the sensory in your um, upper extremities. So just let me know if you feel soft or light touch or sharp and soft touch. I'm sorry. So just close your eyes. Okay, so uh, sensory is intact in the upper extremities. I would check that bilaterally. Okay, so now I'm going to move down to your abdomen. So you can go ahead and lay down. Okay, so I want to check the contour of the stomach. I'm going to check for any distension. Um, I'm going to check for symmetry of the stomach. So um, the stomach is flat and symmetrical. I would check the location of the umbilicus and uh, for any pulsations. I'm going to start listening to the bowel sounds in the right lower quadrant. is 